to see what's new at the box office. Yeah, you got to sound excited when you say that. NBCLA.com's uh, Popcorn Biz blogger Sasha Pearl Raver here with a look at the expected blo um, blockbuster Twilight Breaking Down. Wow. I have to say, I already heard on Access Hollywood Live, I didn't like it so much. I have to admit, I am not a huge Twilight fan. I didn't read the books. The movies, I think, are for a particular audience. But there is no question this movie is going to make gajillions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, a lot of money. Mainly because it has all led up to this moment. Not only do we get to see Bella and Edward get married, but they consummate that marriage. Ooh. Big love scene. And of course, I had to ask the stars about that scene. It was so technically broken down that it was like, it was ridiculous. Me and Rob were trying our hardest not to be tempted to mess each other up when we weren't on camera and also just hold it together when we were. <laughs> People kept telling us to do less all the time. We thought we were barely doing anything in the first place. And then, uh, and yeah, so it was kind of weird. I and mean, then now everyone's saying it's like so risque. It's like, Jesus, what are you supposed to do? Are they supposed to be fully clothed, like sitting next to each other? I I think the reason people think it's so risque is because it's a Twilight movie and they are very chaste. And you talk about the the the, the kids, the audience are actually gonna are they gonna be cringing in the theaters when they watch this? Oh, I think there's gonna be hooting, giggling? hollering, probably some giggling. But it's it is definitely steamy. I was taken back because it is a Twilight movie that you would not expect that right. much. Sure. Um it's very soap opera, hot and bothered, you know, Harlequin romance novel, like bodice ripping stuff. Kinda, yeah. A little telenovela. Okay. Right. But for people that are a fan of the franchise, this is the moment. You get to see the wedding, you get to see the honeymoon, you get to see the, the pregnancy. So that, for fans, is huge. I think for regular audiences, the movie's a little bit slow. All right. And it's definitely something that I don't know other people will want to see, but it, there's five billion Twilight fans. Wow. It'll be fine, number one of the box uh, office Maybe six billion at this point in time. Maybe. Right, I'm a huge fan of Robin Williams and Happy Feet. Love it, and I cannot wait for the new movie to come out. I thought this movie was adorable. Robin Williams might be my favorite interview of all time. We had one of the best junket experiences I can remember. He is a pleasure, as is this movie. And Elijah Wood, delightful. Great for kids, great for adults. And great music again, because the first soundtrack was fantastic. Fantastic. Pink does the singing oh. this time. Brittany Murphy, who obviously passed away, is no longer part of the franchise. Pink's voice gives you chills. Ooh, it is wow. fantastic. But Robin Williams is just one of the best men working in Hollywood. He is a thrill and a joy, and I think this is my musty for this weekend. And then you had a little karaoke moment with him. We did have a little karaoke moment. Well, if you're talking about singing and dancing, why not do it with Robin Williams? Oh, yeah. Hello. Why not? Do you have a karaoke song? No, I don't. I, oh, no. <laughs> what I happened? Don't. Where? What dirty place? What, what awful place did you just go to in your mind no, about no, no. karaoke? No, no, no. All of a sudden, I went to Marvin Gaye's sexual healing. <laughs> sexual healing. As, when I when, get that as Ethel Merman, though. Oh, sexual, sexual fail. <laughs> That's the quickest turn off in the world. That's the best birth control in the whole world. And now Ethel Merman sings a sexual healing. Oh, when I get that feeling, I get sexual healing. We do very well in West Hollywood. Though. I think it'll be <laughs> huge. <laughs> You're right. Oh, brother. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I thought I just heard an Ethel Merman voiceover for you. Me. You did. He told me that every song he sings at karaoke sounds like Ethel Merman. So if you're going to sing anything, that's how it has to sound. He does not sound like Ethel Merman in the movie. Robin Williams is just a talent unparalleled. So if Ethel him. Merman were in Twilight, that whole scene wouldn't have happened. Is what then we're we could be singing about babies and vampires, and it would be great. And for more <laughs> entertainment news, go to NBCLA.com and click on the Popcorn Biz tab. Popcorn Biz. <laughs> I'm going to leave all that.